Hey everyone, just got a quick update for you here for the add-on, uh, the RBC 1.1 update. We now have a couple more options to drive around your rig. So we still have our driver's uh, panel here, which you can drive and steer your car with these values. So you can use these values to auto keyframe or manually keyframe. And now you can manually add keyframes to the brake button. So what's cool about this is you can also add drivers to it. So now we can add drivers to our rig and create our own little driver system. I have a tutorial coming out to show you how to hook up your phone to it. So you can actually drive and steer your car with your phone. Another option we have now is the keyboard option. So you can use your keyboard, the WASD keys to drive and steer your vehicle. So once you start your modal, you'll be locked in. That way it doesn't influence your, your shortcut keys. So you won't be able to change any settings. So you can exit that by right clicking or pressing the escape key. Down at the bottom, you have your control list. A couple settings, we have the car speed you can change uh, and the slow-mo settings. So holding shift will throw it into slow-mo for you. I've been having a lot of fun with the slow-mo function. So for the controller section, it's a little different. So for the controller section, we have to install this X input code. So what you're gonna wanna do is open up your Blender folder, uh, whichever Blender version you want to install this code into. Then right-click the Blender extension and run as administrator. So once you run your Blender version as an administrator, go ahead and click the control panel and install X input. And this will take a second to install the code. But once you have this installed, you shouldn't have to do this every time after it's installed. So once it's installed, some options will pop up. You have the start button, change the settings, and a list down here of controls for you. So what's cool about the controller setting is I can you can actually still tune your settings live. So if you want to make small adjustments in the rig tuning panel or adjustments to the slow-mo speed or car speed, you can do that quick and easy. Yeah, you can tell I've been having fun with the slow-mo. So as of right now, support for the controller system, I can't promise every controller is going to work, but so far an Xbox One controller has worked fine. Uh, a knockoff Xbox controller has worked fine and a uh, PS5 controller works. So for the PS5 controller, you will need to download DualShock Windows to run the PS5. And there might be some settings you have to fiddle around with in order to get it to work. If I come across uh, more information or documentation on, you know, what works and what doesn't, I'll, I'll let you guys know. So after you play around with your car, you can still bake the cache and it just makes getting realistic animations that much easier and that much more fun. But yeah, got a couple of settings. Let me know if there's uh, any other settings you'd like to add to the control or keyboard panel. If it's possible, I'll, I'll try to include it. But so far we just have car speed and slow-mo. Another change was to the rig itself. I changed some expressions so that the car can now slow down and come to a stop instead of continuing to roll on. But the update will work with the old rig. It's just that that small change uh, in the expressions. That's that's kind of it. Just a small little update for you guys. I changed uh, some things and fixed some things in the background too. You can check out the change log. That's pretty much it. I just want to say thanks to everyone who's already bought the add-on and tried it out. It's been really amazing to see people's reactions to it. So I'm, I'm glad people are having fun with it. And uh, I hope to continue to develop it. Uh, it's, you know, it's a slow process. I'm still learning things, but I'd like to make this, you know, as fun and enjoyable for people. So I just want to say thank you to everyone. Just be patient and everyone who's uh, bought the add-on. You can join our Discord down below, or you can ask questions or report errors or uh, suggestions that you might have for the add-on. A lot of people have been very helpful um, answering questions. So I just want to say thank you to everyone on there. So I want to say thanks and look forward to the next update.